one of the very original ideas that have grown from this movie is the way the two pilots and the Jaegers interact is through what we've come to call the drift. You need two human beings to run a Jaeger by connecting neurally. It's quite advanced technology. Okay, Gypsy, lining up nicely. Every memory, good, bad, everything, they become one. They're completely immersed in the heads-up display. One of the first things I pitched to Legendary, let's make it to pilots. That's why I was thinking you might vertically stack them. I would never do that, because then you're, you're gaining logic when you're losing grammar. I think the fact that these guys are going to be able to see each other, they're going to be able to, you know, you need that. You don't want intercom. I, I really, literally want the representation of they're both in the head. Within this headspace. There are no secrets, nothing's hidden. It's an extraordinarily intimate experience. So again, to reiterate, Ringo's coming out of the, the drift into the spasm, spasm into calibration. Yes. Okay. Travis wanted a sort of a magical, ethereal space where the pilots would look at each other outside the compound, sort of a ghost, a place where they look at each other in spirit. But I cannot dedicate days to shoot these guys translucent and uh, all this stuff. So I said, let, let, them, let them blend through memories. Roll camera, please. We are directed the drift to be black and white from the moment we shot it. So the actors had duplicates of their clothes in black and white, sort of a blue, blue grays, you know, very cold. Then I came up with the idea of using lighting strikes. Even before she unwraps it. To bleach the skin, to make it look blue. I did her completely uh, in black and gray scale. So that she would almost become a background part of the memory. What we did is shoot a camera going to the left and then another piece of another memory would go to the left. So the memories would blend. You know, that you would see somebody running in the foreground and a room would be in the background and we generated an enormous amount of material. When you feel the light is out, you will feel it. You wake up. Also, don't get caught in mobile. We need to sometimes do the simplest tricks in the book. You can start with the lifting of the arm. Uh, would be great. Where instead of morphing or doing a CG moment, I do it in camera. I do it like in a theatrical way. For example, when she goes back to her flashback, I do it with sound and the voice fades out. Marco! And Navarro and David Lee rig the lights in the compass to fade out. Ashes start falling, and she starts walking, and you see she's walking on the street, and it's done on camera. Or Raleigh showing up in the flashback. There were talks about making him translucent and come out of the walls, and I said, no, let's, let, let's just do a great shot with him standing there, and we understand he's in the memory. These simple tricks that are very theatrical actually worked really well. It's a scene that I am really, really proud of.